Now, while the majority of action-centric video games draw from a pretty familiar pool of weapons, every so often a game will come up with something totally unexpected in its show-stealing awesomeness. Now, these weapons, from eye-wateringly destructive to howlingly entertaining, represent the best and most memorable weapons that the medium has ever served up. And while I can't wait to start shooting my mouth, I have to say a massive thank you to McCoy41, whose submission in last week's video has been picked to be included as an entry in this list of awesome arsenals. And if you want to be included in next week's video, have a ponder and let me know which video games you think that fans and critics just can't agree on. Drop your comment below, but for now, let's load up, get those barrels spinning and cock like you won't believe as we dive into the 10 best video game weapons. Number 10, the Plasma Cutter, Dead Space. Now, rather than make you work for its best weapon, Dead Space shirks convention and gives you the best one right at the very start of the game, enough so that you might not even bother using anything else. And that weapon, of course, is the Plasma Cutter, which fires bolts of plasma into enemies, slicing them up with a high degree of accuracy and power. Now, it doesn't start out as the strongest weapon, but with a few upgrades, it will turn necromorphs into deli meat with only a cursory amount of effort. In a game where dismembering is key to survival, the Plasma Cutter feels vital. Beyond that, ammo is cheap and easy to come by and it looks insanely badass. And so, even when the game starts throwing bigger weapons your way, there's little incentive to make that switch. As starter weapons go, there's nothing better. Well, almost nothing. Because number 9, the M60 Pistol Halo Combat Evolved. Master Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. Halo's default pistol may look like a standard issue gap that you'd only use in emergency situations, but anyone who's put it to the test knows how outrageously lethal it can be in both single and multiplayer modes. Despite being a starter weapon, it rocks an extremely high level of power and accuracy, a result of Bungie co-founder Jason Jones secretly altering its damage values just before its release. The M60 can fell even shielded enemies with three shots to the head, and as such, it became the bane of many players' existence during multiplayer sessions. I mean, let's be honest, it's basically a portable sniper rifle, even coming complete with a damned scope. The M60's generous versatility makes it Halo's signature weapon, but Bungie being the spoil sports that they are, they gave it a major nerf in Halo 2, where its replacement pistol took a major power hit while also lacking a scope. Boo! We need to run! I need a weapon. Weapon? This is all I've got. It's enough. Number 8. The Cerebral Boar. Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. There's no weapon on this list more metal than Turok 2's Cerebral Boar, a weapon so metal that there's literally a Scottish metal band named after it. It doesn't just have a clever name though, fire the Cerebral Boar at an enemy and a homing projectile will make a beeline for their cranium, at which point it drills downward into their skull and paints the surrounding vicinity with their brain matter before then finally exploding. It feels like the sort of thing your edgelord teenage cousin would come up with, a weapon so absurdly, theatrically brutal and yet creative and mesmerizing, dare I say, even beautiful in its own way. Seriously, just try looking away from this thing whilst it gets to work, and even if you do manage to avert your gaze, the sound of it blending the victim's brain into a red slurry will stick with you for life. Number 7. The Redeemer Unreal Tournament When you absolutely, positively need to vaporise everybody in the vicinity into a bloody mist, accept those substitutes for Unreal Tournament's Redeemer. Effectively a portable nuke launcher, the Redeemer is a single-use super weapon which will instantly melt anyone caught in its effing gigantic blast radius, including you if you don't skedaddle. Watching the opposing team helplessly try to flee the impending nuke while you cackle with demented glee is about as fun as gaming ever gets, especially if you use the guided aiming mode to pilot it right up their ass. The Redeemer's literally awesome power allows it to turn the tide of play in a single moment, and so it's little surprise that players will spend indecent amounts of time camping around its spawn points. A quarter century on from the OG Unreal Tournament's release, the Redeemer remains the crowned king of liquidating a room full of enemies in one fell swoop. Number 6. The Blades of Chaos God of War. God of War's Blades of Chaos are so hallowed in the pantheon of video games that the 2018 sequel even devoted an almost impossibly epic sequence to the moment that Kratos finally gets them out again. But I am your monster no longer.
As fun as the Leviathan Axe may be to wield, the Blades of Chaos are positively goated in every way that a weapon could be. Swinging these things around with reckless, fiery abandon, grabbing enemies from afar and even juggling them into the air is a feeling positively unmatched. <laughs> Beyond their ability to deal incredible amounts of close and ranged damage, the blades also boast top tier game feel. Attacks can be chained together with a butter smooth fluidity, making them the series' best all rounder weapon, and more than that, an emblem of the franchise's penchant for ultra satisfying face melting combat. In the original God of War trilogy in particular, nothing even gets close to the Blades of Chaos, and even in the newer titles, their legacy definitely casts a long shadow. Number 5. The Farsight XR20 – Perfect Dark Now, weapons don't get more hilariously, amazingly OP than Perfect Dark's Farsight XR20, a handheld power fantasy of a railgun that seems like it was dreamt up by a child. And because its ability to kill any enemy in a single shot isn't enough, the Farsight can also shoot foes through walls, doors, and so on. Better slash worse still, it also has a target locator function, meaning that you don't even need to put any effort into seeking out enemy meat sacks. The Farsight is so comically powerful that the extraterrestrial weapon is only available for a single level in the story campaign. During local multiplayer though, well everybody knew it was game over the moment that anybody got their grubby mitts on it. In fact, for the sake of their friendships, many players struck voluntary agreements not to use the Farsight's target locator, ensuring everybody had at least a faint chance of fighting back. The Farsight is just so damn good that it straight up jeopardizes your social circles if it was left unchecked. Number 4. The Super Shotgun Doom Now, the BFG 9000 may be Doom's most iconic weapon for its ability to clear a room full of hellspawn in record time, Holy but it's still not quite as fun to use as the Super Shotgun. Offering thrice the stopping power of the original shotgun, the Super Shotgun will utterly melt anything that strays into its path, and is usually the smartest choice in a confined close-range combat situation. The need to reload after every shot is mitigated by how efficiently it can mop up a crowd of enemies with extreme prejudice. And perhaps more than any other weapon on this list, the sheer sound of it firing and being reloaded will invoke a Pavlovian response in players by itself. But because id Software decided that this wasn't quite awesome enough, for Doom Eternal they even rigged up the super shotgun with a meat hook, allowing players to not only close the distance between enemies but also traverse the environment. Add to this the flaming hook upgrade, which lets you ignite enemies, and the super shotgun has clearly only got better with age. Your super shotgun is nearby, a relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. Number 3. The Holy Hand Grenade – Worms And so we come to McCoy 41's pick, and I won't lie to you friends, when I saw this I had the biggest, dumbest smile on my face, because their suggestion of anything to do with the Worms franchise, and this weapon in particular, brought back so many childhood memories. This was a title that was the absolute silliest when it came to gameplay, but was utterly serious when it came to giving players weapons that would cause absolute carnage. And of all the weird, wonderful, and yes, wacky weapons, the best was the holy hand grenade. This, my friends, right here was the good stuff, because the devastation this blessed bomb could cause really gave a new meaning to the word holy, as after destination, well, there's going to be nothing but craters. And the cherry on top of this cake made of other cherries was the fact that just before the holy hand grenade sends your enemies to the pearly gates, a choir of voices sing hallelujah. It is ridiculously over the top, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <coughs> Number 2. The Blue Shell – Mario Kart Blue Shell! Mario Kart's blue shell is the living embodiment of the uncaring chaos of our natural world, a sobering reminder that no matter how hard you work to achieve your goals, you're never above getting wrecked totally out of nowhere. Now, there are, admittedly, the great many amongst us who utterly loathe the blue shell, given that it will smash into whichever racer is in first place, and is typically doled out to the lower-ranked racers in an attempt to help them catch up. Basically, the blue shell laughs at silly notions like skill, and instead acts like the great equaliser, bringing adept players down a few pegs and in especially frustrating situations, taking them out of first place just mere moments before they cross the finish line. It has created more arguments amongst friends than any other weapon on this list, and perhaps any other video game weapon in history, and for that it absolutely deserves to get its flowers. You might think you hate it, but deep, deep, deep down, you love it really. 
At number one, the Gravity Gun, Half-Life 2. Now, the number one spot has to go to Half-Life 2's zero-point energy field manipulator, better known as the Gravity Gun. But technically, the Gravity Gun is more of a tool than an offensive weapon for most of the game, with its ability to lift objects and clear obstacles and so forth. But of course, it can be used to weaponize items in the environment, to fling saw blades and explosive barrels around for massive damage. It's incredibly fun to this end, but reaches its final form late in the game when it receives a dark energy makeover. This upgrade amplifies its gravitational power and allows players to manipulate organic matter. That is to say, you can now fling Overwatch soldiers around like they're absolutely nothing. At once, a mesmerizing showcase for Half-Life 2's groundbreaking physics engine and a peerlessly entertaining weapon in its own right, the gravity gun is the best of all things. It's fun, inventive, chaotic, and absolutely unforgettable. And there we go, my friends. Those were the 10 best video game weapons. Did we miss any out? Well, let me know down in the comment section below. And remember, have a think about which video games you think that fans and critics just couldn't agree on. And we may pick your suggestion for next week's episode. As always, I've been Jules. I hope that you are treating yourself well, my friend, because you deserve the best things in life like love, happiness, and respect. And remember, above all else, you are a massive ledge. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.